Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to speak about gear or talent. Which is more important? What do you need? And this is kind of just jumping in and giving my opinion on the topic. But before we jump into this topic, I need to thank you for taking the time to check out this video and the patrons of this channel. Without your views and their Patreon support, I wouldn't have motivation to pump out content almost every single day, push my dreams forward, and I can't thank you enough for that motivation. Jumping back to the topic at hand, is it the gear or is it the talent? One thing that you can't argue is you can't do anything without some form of talent, without putting in some time and having some skills. Even the best gear in the world will sound like crap to somebody who knows nothing about how to use them. So whether you have good gear, whether you have mediocre gear, whether you have mid-range gear, whether you have the best gear in the world, you need to have some form of talent to create something of value with that gear. Great gear doesn't necessarily make good music with somebody with no talent, and somebody with amazing talent could make amazing music on subpar gear. As I just stated, ultimately without talent, you're getting nowhere. But after that, what type of gear you need to thrive once you have some sort of skill is gonna 100% depend on you and what you need, which in my opinion is the hardest thing to find out within electronic music, finding out what fits you. The fact is, as you evolve, what you want to do with your music will decide what you need. Do you need all that big, fancy, high-end, diverse gear, or will you be set with just a couple smaller budget pieces? And again, this is all going to come down to you and you finding out what you want from music. Are you going to want to be a big producer who can do tons of different sounds, who can hit tons of different genres, who you want to do like soundscape and sound work, soundtracks? you know, maybe stuff for video game, and maybe you've got the talent already and you're chasing a high fidelity, really crazy sounding crisp sound, then you're gonna need a lot of diversity and high-end pricing gear because that's the sound you're chasing for. But the reality is not everyone's chasing high fidelity, big stuff, big sound, massive thick things, you know, soundtrack style, just stuff. It's not everyone is looking for that in the long run of their music. Some people want to make industrial. Some people want to make acid. Some people want to make techno. And when it came down to the acid scene, what did the acid kids need to make their music? Not a room full of really high fidelity gear. So it really comes down to what you want to achieve as an artist once you have the talent. Do you want to do that big high fidelity stuff? Do you want to have all the sound options? Do you want to be able to jump into any sound era that you want? And yeah, you're gonna need a lot of diversity and probably some high end gear. Are you pushing a niche? Are you pushing a specific sound? Well, maybe you don't need crazy gear then because a lot of niches and a lot of specific sounds can be achieved through a lot of mid range and budget gear and you can still do amazing things. So this really comes back to a main central theme that I try to have in a lot of my videos, searching and finding yourself because I think that is the hardest thing within this musical artistic realm is finding in what's for you. And once you know what's for you, things become a lot easier. This is just my opinion on the topic. Again, it could have been very, very cut and dry, and I could have said, yes, talent really ultimately is more important. But I think the gear part is a very important aspect of that. Is once you've got the talent, do you need the expensive gear? Do you need the bottom end of the gear? That's all up to you, and only you're going to know that. And what anybody else says, whether it is irrelevant at that point. So as always, I need to thank you for taking time to check out this video. Stay positive, stay creative, support each other in peace.